I made this decision to sort of open the exhibition with a crescendo, if you will. The studio that Marianne maintained in the 70s at the Chelsea Hotel was really where he made some of his most radical and uh, important work and where he was really at the height of his mature uh, style as a painter and his power. We felt that sort of creating this immersive environment for the visitor to enter into and really see the kind of optical assault of Marianne's world in this room that he had created where he hung his paintings floor to ceiling with other art that he had collected, notably African and oceanic masks, but also folk objects and popular cultural um, things that he collected. It really created this visual universe. There has not been a deep dive into his practice, uh, specifically not outside a, a Jewish lens. And his work, for the most part, has gone unknown and undershown. Um, so this was really an opportunity to dig, research, and bring together works that have not been exhibited, let alone published before. I think the way that Allison curated this exhibition was brilliant in that she deconstructed all the complex layers of Marianne's work. Everything from having this unique brand of figuration uh, to speaking to his lived experience and trauma while also connecting it with a larger human experience and of course reinserting him into the canon by bringing some of his contemporaries literally into the show and creating these beautiful salon style uh, uh, installations that are immersive and, and visually connect Marianne with his contemporaries, whether or not he knew many of them um, that are on display here, uh, some he had personal relationships with, like H.C. Westerman and June Leaf, um, others like the Cobra artists, uh, there's no denying that connectivity uh, visually in the work. We have an artwork by H.C. Westerman alongside the work of Marianne. While they were friends in their lifetime, to see these two works alongside one another and the similarities and the way that they interact with one another is truly one of my favorite moments. So in the exhibition, you traverse a series of bodies of work that were really essential to his vocabulary and his different conceptual concerns. Marianne worked in series, so each room that follows is a particular series. So for example, the following room is a group of works that he made of these personages, these characters that were the main thrust of his figurative practice um, that he painted in black and white, which was a very particular part and consistent part of his practice. Um, those were made in the 60s. And from there, we see other bodies of work like the Napoleon series where he took the iconic figure of Napoleon and degraded him and created this sort of, again, like turned him into a vessel for his meditation on the personage and, and questions of trauma and things that are really unspeakable. Almost all of the figures have something happening around their mouths. They're emitting something or taking something in. There's like technicolor sort of streams coming from their mouths. And we realized later in the exhibition at the very heart of the show is a series of galleries that really directly reference his experiences in surviving the Holocaust. Eke Homo is a film that Marianne made at the end of his life, and uh, he made that at the Chelsea Hotel with fellow artist Kenny Schneider. What it is is a black and white experimental film from the late 70s where he's giving a testimonial of his experience in the Holocaust, but at the same time he's introducing uh, news and images from the news um, of that moment. So we're seeing images from the civil rights movement, the anti-Vietnam War movement, and other images of dictators. And he is creating this kind of intersectional presentation, saying like, I've experienced this, this thing, these things that are happening now, these 
horrible, genocidal, fascist things that are happening in my contemporary world are things that I survived. And he really was driven by this desire to not only speak of what happened to him, but to create a connection with um, other struggles. And I think that this is why um, I had decided to place this room at the very heart of the exhibition. I think that his significance is not just as a witness, but as an artist who really tried to channel the drive to reconstruct oneself and the very notion of human in all of his paintings and all of his drawings and everything that he, he wrote and tried to create. So I think that his work transcends even its function as a part of the historical record. I mean, I think he's really a thinker of the struggle to maintain humanity against the worst odds and the importance of expressing these things in whatever form one can. So I think that Marianne is an absolutely contemporary figure in that way, an extremely timely figure.